So let's go ahead and bring in CBS4 meteorologist Dave Warren. Dave, we could start to see some of the smoke from that fire, right, if there's enough wind? Yes, uh, the wind might try to change just a bit. Unfortunately, we didn't really see a lot of rain yet. Uh, the showers are still ongoing, but there's a lot of rain up here around Lake Okeechobee, but down here in the parts of Broward, Palm Beach County, uh, just tapered off to showers. Now, the breeze going calm tonight might actually start to turn uh, there to the north. So inland Broward, inland Miami Day. There's also another wildfire there uh, near West Kendall inland a bit. You might notice the smell of smoke or a little haze in the sky from uh, eight o'clock tonight. Look at this cluster of showers and storms over the lake, and then you get an outflow boundary triggering more showers, continuing to move south, triggering a few here in Miami Dade and one or two now over the metro area. So it's certainly possible to see a shower or two tonight. Uh, let's put this into motion with real time Doppler. Now just the last hour you see they continue to develop and slowly begin to push uh, closer to the coast. There's one or two up in uh, parts of Broward County as well around Fort Lauderdale along the coast and a few uh, more just to the south. So we'll put a few showers in the forecast tonight. Likely they'll continue to develop off the coast. You see that typically at night. They come in here in the afternoon and then redevelop off the coast and with that east breeze might work their way through the area tonight or early tomorrow. Temperatures are into the mid 70s or low 80s. We'll drop into the mid 70s here overnight tonight. Few showers around inland smoke or some haze. Temperature about 76 degrees. Breeze is pretty light now turning to the southeast about five to 10 miles an hour. Here was that those sea breezes coming in the interior showers and storms. Now just a few isolated showers across the metro areas. Uh, that is the satellite and radar. But more importantly, what's going to happen here over the next few hours? We can go to our computer forecast a front to the north and it's becoming stationary to the south of that. We'll have pretty unsettled weather here over the next few days and the moisture could actually start to really increase uh, showers around this evening. But as the breeze goes a little stronger to the southeast, you get those showers off the coast and they may work their way through the area early tomorrow morning. You'll notice the wind gets a little stronger tomorrow afternoon. So things clear along the East Coast showers will be pushed up against the Gulf Coast and the breeze will pick up just a bit might get just a little rougher there along the coast and just off the coast. Now look at the moisture really starting to increase Wednesday and Thursday have a little disturbance in the upper atmosphere and that could help enhance uh, these showers and storms. Looks like it's Wednesday Thursday where you get these gusty downpours more widespread as the moisture goes to the upper end of the scale. It was at the lower end of the scale here, so we continue to see uh, the moisture increasing. Wind will be east 10 to 15 knots tomorrow, two to three foot seas, moderate chop. Now you will notice in, in and around a few showers, it could get a little gusty and we'll even say it could be gusty at times there, especially up and down the coast, passing showers with a stronger breeze. With that stronger breeze, temperature is 87 degrees tomorrow. 86 on Tuesday with a mix of sun and storms. Then the moisture really starts to ramp up and we'll have more widespread showers and storms increasing Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Keep the showers around for next weekend, Saturday and Sunday with highs in the upper 80s. Keep